Welcome to Let's Talk, bud. Read. Hey, hey, we're back again, bud. I love it. I love it too, man. Here, hold on. Oh, 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 yeah. Let's do it at the same time. That's cool. You've even got me drinking oh. Canadian now. Hey, yeah, uh, Molson Canadian, unofficial sponsor of the show. Cheers. Cheers. Hey. Okay, that this is, is official. Dog slicking around, of course, because we just started recording. But anyways, it's like he knows. He knows all the time. <laughs> He's got to click around. We got a very powerful mic here. We got the best of equipment. That's what we do this show on. And this dog just likes to friggin', you know, walk around. Tori, I heard you snicker over there, but it is the best of equipment. We all know it. So, it's pretty nice. anyways, we got scripts, bud. We do. You know why? Because we have we're... a run sheet. Yep. We have notes. Yep. Which is good because I have a tendency to go off topic and rant on things. That is true. I feel like uh, we're both kind of guilty of that at times. Yeah, but you yeah. know what? We're a professional friggin' show now, bud. We got a bunch of hits in the last one. We got a bunch of interest bunch of inquiries we're gonna we talk about set. those we have a set the cool friggin sets back guys you know i just set it all up again i had to mount the tv and put all the panels up and set the table up and everything else all how long over does it take you to do that it takes me a couple days so okay yeah <laughs> but anyways <laughs> beer breaks in between i'm sure nonetheless what have you been up to the past couple weeks um well at least the ohio state football is back and that's why i'm wearing my best scarlet and gray tonight uh they got the win in week one over nebraska and now on to Penn State and hopefully a national championship before Justin Fields goes to the NFL and leaves us all behind. Holy crap. That would be nice. That'd be nice, eh? But it's it's nice to have some exciting sports back. I mean, the you know, MMA is back rolling in the States again and um we got college football back and the NFL's going. So I've had some fun with that, but can we get hockey back? Can Please. Get Let's get some hockey back. Not just the NHL, we're excited about that. Let's get the friggin' OHL back, eh? I, you know what? Speaking of which there was an announcement the other day as of this recording. The OHL is coming back. February. February. So, uh, now I say February for games. We actually uh, have a training camp coming in uh, January, yeah. which will be fantastic. It's just going to be nice to see all the guys again, see the players, and get back to the ice. Because, you know, I haven't called a hockey game since March, other than what I do on the PS4. So <laughs> it'll be nice to be back in the booth and I'm very excited to be back again with it. So, uh, it's, I'm just, I want to be back in the booth. Is that what you do? Do you mute the commentary in the PS4 and that's how you call it? Yeah. That's how I started doing it as a kid. No kidding. Eh? Yeah. That's where I got all my practice from. And actually, uh, a buddy sent me uh, a game from 85. This is the Bruins and the Habs hockey night in Canada, Yeah. but it's French commentary. So oh. I've got the rosters. And I'm going to mute that, and I'm going to do that myself, and I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. Listen to that, guys. A little tip for all you aspiring announcers out there, commentators. Learn from the best, bud. Look at that. Mutes games, calls games. Like, you know, what a genius idea that you never really, you know, you wouldn't really think that that would be what people do, but it's so that's smart. Practice never stops. You can always get better. Hey, you know what? Wow. Guys, listen up. You got the best giving you advice here, pal. That's pretty neat, man. I never knew you did that. The best is here? Where's Jim Ross? I haven't seen hey, Jim Ross. Hey, Jim, yeah, he's, you know. He's been saying some questionable things as of late. You know, I love Jim Ross, big, good old JR, you know, best of all time. But, uh, you know, he's kind of he's kind of a loose cannon at times, eh? Well, you know, he's having <laughs> fun. I, I don't mind that at all. He's into the barbecue sauce before the show. And ah, a little barbecue sauce. I like that. Anytime you get Jim Ross and Tony Schiavone together, I'm listening. <laughs> no kidding, eh? Well, that's cool. Okay, so that's what you've been up to, you know. I've just been, you know, hanging out, man. You know, I had a little, uh, little company, a little beer company here in Canada. One of the, uh, you know, just a little guy there. Just, oh, just a little, just one. a little guy. You reach out to us and, oh. you know, Hey, look, we've got some swag here. I'm sorry. They didn't send you a shirt. You know, I was going to get it, but then well, I it's never... close enough. I mean, close enough. We're, we're on the same page. Close enough. But you know, Hey, there's a nice koozie there for you. Yeah. Got some, got some keychains. got a whole, you know, a whole bunch of freaking stuff. Some beer. Well, that's the key. The company we're speaking of is Molson Canadian, just a little old beer company here in Canada, and I'm pretty excited about it, you know? And if you guys, hey, Molson, if you're watching this, if you want to send us a case of beer like once a month or so, then, you know, we'll, we'll you know, we'll shout you out more on the show. We'll do a commercial. We'll do all kinds of stuff. He's got me on the Canadian now. That's how good this stuff is. Hey. And for our American friends watching, import it, beg at your liquor store for it, whatever you need to do. It's good stuff. Papa Kenway, I'm looking at you, bud. Mm-hmm. Hey. Our oh, yeah. good friend from St. Louis. Speaking of one sponsor, so, you know, well, sorry, I don't want to speak too highly. We got a sponsor, but we actually have another sponsor. We got the big one. We have a big sponsor here, bud, which is actually what you might be watching this on right now. And you know what? With sponsorships comes responsibility, Reed. We owe these guys something. So here's what we're going to do, pal. Oh. We got to roll an ad for high spots, bud. 
Or read it's enough. I've had enough of you chirping Toronto. That's it, bud. We're gonna have a go right now. Well, I would, but I can't. I don't have any gear. Highspots.com. All right, well, that's it. Doesn't matter. I don't care where we are. Where's the ring, pal? We gotta get a ring. Where are we gonna get a ring? Highspots.com. I haven't done this in years. I need to go back and research. I need some footage to go back and take a look at the tapes. Where am I gonna find the tapes? High Spots Wrestling Network. It doesn't matter because you can study as hard as you want, but regardless, go to this place and you can find all the footage you need to figure out everything you need to know about me, but I can also figure out stuff about you. And where can we find that, Reed? I think I know, I think I know. High Spots Wrestling Network, the best $9.99 in the business, bud. <laughs> Well, our sponsor, the High Spots Wrestling Network, it is one of the best streaming services you can have. I would put them up there, BMD, with just about anybody. I'm talking about your Amazon Primes, your Netflixes, your uh, some of the QB, whatever that is. High Spots Wrestling Network is better than that. (laughs) And they've got a ton of stuff on there from old events, shoots, uh, current indies, anything you can look for. You're going to want to check that out, High Spots Wrestling Network. And, of course, High Spots has some great stuff, too, between gear, rings, uh, if you want to run a promotion, if you want to be a wrestler, or if you just want some memorabilia. I've ordered a bunch of stuff from them in the past. Oh, man, they got everything. And guess what they have now, too, bud? Alpha One Wrestling, pal. Hey, so check out High Spots. You know, check out the network. You know, don't worry about my dog. He's not part of the side. He's just having a good time over here. He's got a bone, and we're trying to keep him quiet, but it's not really working out. But anyways, High Spots, appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. You know, we got a little zoo happening here. Everyone wants to chime in. Everyone here loves high spots, bud. Best 99 in the biz, pal. Like high spots. But Absolutely. Hey, enough about their sp- the sponsor now. We've got your logo here. Corner the whole time. Check out High Spots Network. That's where you can find this freaking show too, bud. But now, we're going to keep this show nice and tight, nice and organized for our new sponsor. We're organized. We're organized today. So, we're going back to our roots, pal. Oh, no. We got a segment here. We're you bringing- don't mean... I mean the five-minute major, pal. Oh, boy. That's it. We got five topics, five minutes, and now we got a little twist here. These topics are suggested by fans. You know, some I've made up. I Googled a couple. But anyways, if you go over, every 10 seconds you go over the one minute, you got to have a sip of beer for every 10 seconds. So if you go two minutes, I'm not too sure what the math on that is, but that's at least four or five sips of beer. At least that's what I think. But Six? Six, six maybe sips six. of beer. So, that, I mean sips, big sips. You got to take They told me when I took this job, there'd be no math. There's no, I didn't think there would be either, but I just want to add a little twist okay. for the fun for the viewers at home there. Do we have the topics on here? We, I got the topics. I, I got the topics. And you got to you gotta but you're take not, a sip of beer if you go over? Yeah, you can't. Don't pre-read them all, Reed. Oh, I'm in big trouble. Yeah. So, anyways, bud, here we go, pal. It's the five-minute major. That's how freaking excited I am, you see? Went down the wrong pipe. Anyways, perfect segue. Let me show up my little fancy cooler here. Oh, my God. Are we leaving that in? Yep, leaving it in, bud. Oh. Here, just in case you need it for after. Yeah, I'm going to need that. But I'm going to need yeah. it for the, this segment here. Yeah, I'm going to need it. <coughs> Let me gather my thoughts. Are you all right? Oh, I think I'm all right. Are we going to have to call a medic? Oh, my. Well. I don't know if that's in the budget yet. We spent all the money on the set. It's coming out my nose, Reed. Oh, boy. Okay, perfect, because this topic I know you're going to go off of, and I need a minute or so to recover. So. Good, okay. All right, so, timekeeper, are you ready? As soon as I'm done reading the question, you start the clock. All right, Reed, topic is, is WCW's legacy officially ruined? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Why does this keep happening? You look in the history of professional wrestling and what has happened to world championship wrestling. It's what I grew up on. I was the only house on the block as a kid that had the super stations. WTBS, Saturday night, 6.05. It was destination programming. And now, what have they done? I get that one side won the war. Even if it was because that side happened to send down their head writer who completely just gong-showed everything that I grew up on. But... That's fine. You move forward. I could live with WCW being gone. But now, Starcade is a house show. Full stop. Starcade is a house show. 
Starcade was the biggest event in professional wrestling. It started in 83, a flair for the gold, which I'm not a math expert, but that was two years before WrestleMania. Starcade was the show. Now, Halloween Havoc, you've screwed that up too. And War Games, they took the roof off of War Games. The whole point of War Games was the baby faces got the horsemen in the two ring cage, they put a roof on so that they couldn't get into the cage. And then WWE says, we're gonna bring War Games back. They took the roof off. They screwed the whole concept. They messed up everything that I grew up on. Elliot is agreeing with me. And that's my rant on WCW's legacy being ruined. Wow. Okay. We're all pumped up about that. Reed, you got me fired up. I got 30 seconds. Oh, it's only three sips. Okay, so hold on here. Needless to say, you guys screwed it up. You screwed it up big time. Wow, I knew that one would get you going. What a hot one to kick it off with. Okay, so here. Yeah. Let's, let's calm this thing down here. Dog's pacing around. He's all fired up. He felt your energy, bud. As the people at home feel too, I'm sure. So there you go. You got your sips in? All right. Well, not yet. Oh, okay. I'm taking one, two, just because. One. <laughs> two. Okay, we're back on the same page. Worth it, right? It was worth it, though. Yeah, it was worth it to get that oh, off my, my chest, goodness. finally. Timekeeper's ready. Okay, so our next topic is... Excuse me. Best board games. You know, maybe I'll kick this one off. I like Clue, bud. Clue's a good one. Uh, the one we played at the Cottage, Marvel United. Brand oh. new one. You get all the characters with the cards... And you got to beat the villain. You work as a team. That was fun. That was neat. And you know what? You did about two days worth of studying on that, reading the book. Then yeah, I did. We yeah. all sat around. We kept drinking, getting drunk. And you figured the game out and taught us all. And, you know, by the time we played it two or three times, I really liked that game. That was a really fun that game. That was fun. Have you ever played? It's too on the nose at this point in time. But have you ever played Pandemic? Actually, no. I have not played Pandemic. That's a fun game as well. You're saving the world from essentially what we're living through now. Oh, okay, so what you're saying is we're not going to be a U.S. president. Well, boy. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding around. Sorry, American buds, you know, <laughs> so, you know, whatever. I'm not sorry if, you know, you like the one guy, you know, screw that guy. But anyways, the other board games, I don't know. I like, uh, I used to like Monopoly, now it's too freaking long. Monopoly is good, Risk is good. Oh, Risk is, Risk is a good game. I Mar like Risk. Marvel's got another one out, Crisis Protocol, Bigger Miniatures. We'll have to get that and try that. Oh, there you go. Okay, I think there was a buzzer of some sort, or at least the editor put it in after. But we hit a minute. I don't think we needed a sip, but I'm taking one anyways. Just so am I. Fun topic. Okay, here. I got an even better one for you, Reed. Okay, go for it. So, this one's a fan-suggested topic. Oh, I like fan-suggested. So, here we go. We're queuing up Timekeeper. Timekeeper's ready. All right. Reed. Yes. Why do the Bruins suck? Who suggested this? This is the internet suggested it. Oh, I know who suggested this. The internet. The internet. Very simple answer. The internet. They don't. Yes, Brett, they do. over to you. Yes, they suck. They suck real bad. I can't stand the Boston Bruins. I think they're the worst team in the NHL. And now I think they, you know, I, th I think they're only getting worse too. Your core's getting older. You know, they're they're going to lose Big Z. It'd be cool to see him in blue and white. I hear that might be a little rumor that's going around. I don't With know. With what cap space? Okay, we'll just get rid of someone else and we'll sign Big oh, Z. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. even like the guy, but it'd just be fun to mess around with Reed for a little bit, you know? Yeah, I'm sure. But anyways, they suck. They suck a lot. Remember that time Marshan missed that uh, friggin' that shootout? That, remember that? Remember when he nicked the puck there and, you know, didn't make it all the way? What about that time? Remember the other time when he was crying on the bench when they lost? Remember that hey, time? Do you remember the time the Leafs got out of the first round? Hey, no, I do remember that time. Hey, you, I, I remember the time Dougie got screwed over there. That was that was a lie for that. So, yeah, I, I've seen them get oh, out yeah, of the first round. Yeah, you're old enough for that one. Yeah, you're old <laughs> enough for that one. But That's they suck. True. No, the play is simple. Bruins suck. That's all there is to it. Sorry, uh, do, you, do you remember when Freddie got beat by Joachim Nordstrom in Game 7? Or okay. the comeback? Or... Tory Krug scoring to tie the game oh, and oh, Tory Krug. Boston Garden going ballistic. Don't even start that. We'll get to that later. Where's Tory Krug now, bud? Don't worry about that. Oh, that's, a, that's another I, reason. To I be... hold Papa Kenway responsible for that. That's another reason the Bruins suck. They don't have Tory Krug anymore, pal. Uh, it's going to be tough. Yeah, that's going to be tough. Yeah. They still don't suck, though. They suck big time. Are we out of time? Oh, we are out of time. We're out of time. I didn't know. It looked like she was counting down. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> All right. Okay, hold on a sec here. Great question, Wade. Wade. And there's your answer, bud. They suck. But they don't, but I still like Wade. Okay, next question is. Well, it's not really a question. Next topic. How do you feel about the arrows on the grocery store floors, bud? 
you know what they they don't really bother me you know you just you take a look down you see which way you got to go the only time it really bugs me is when like i know my grocery store in town we, we live in a small town yeah and i know where everything is in the grocery store if i just have to duck down an aisle to grab a spice or something yeah I don't want somebody looking at me like, you know, I just shot someone on Fifth Avenue <laughs> because I, I, I happened to take a step into the aisle the wrong way. The, I don't think they're a terrible idea by any stretch. I'm all for, you know, pandemic preparedness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just, you know, give me a little break if I'm just going to kind of duck in for a second. So here's the thing. I don't care about the arrows in the floors. You know, you get used to that. It's all good. Yeah, that's, that's fine. fine. Just yeah. like wearing a mask. Wear your friggin' mask, by the way. Just like wearing a mask, you know, you get used to it. You yeah. follow the arrows, you do your thing. It's not a big deal, right? You go the wrong way, or you go down one aisle. Oh, I need to get over here, but it's an exit only. Okay, I'll go down the other way. Yeah. But what my beef is, is the friggin' people, bud. Hey, you friggin' guys need to wake up, pal. You know, you see, you look down, pay attention to the arrows, all right? You know, when you come up the way you're supposed to enter, and you're coming up the exit way, and I'm trying to go the other way, and you look at me like I'm friggin' stupid, I get all upset, bud. You know, or if you're going to stand there, and you're going to text on your phone, and I need to say, hey, I need to get over at the friggin' maple syrup here, bud, but you're standing in the way, and then I tell you, hey move out of the way i need to grab some maple syrup because if i don't have tree juice bud i'm gonna be very upset and then you look at me like i'm friggin like i'm friggin dumb like i'm not where i'm supposed to be well guess what bud i went the way the arrow told me to and you went the way the arrow told you not to go bud so you know what it's not so much the arrows that bug me it's the friggin people and you guys need to friggin smarten up put your friggin masks on go the right friggin way look at the floor look at the roof look whatever but if not if you're not gonna look at any of those things look at the friggin exit door and head out of the store pal because i've friggin had enough of you and i know i went way over time but this is worth as many sips as it's gonna take because if I need to drill it into these friggin' people's heads. This is a problem I face every other day when I go to the grocery store, Reed. I go there, and these friggin' people, they drive me nuts. And I live in a small town, too, and you'd think these people, they're, you know, they'd pay attention. I don't know. But they don't. Small town, big town, medium town, doesn't matter. Pay attention. Wear your mask. Look at the arrows, bud. How far did I go over? I went over eight minutes, apparently. No, no, no. You got to take eight sips. Oh, I got to take eight sips. So I went over 80 seconds. Yes. Oh, I thought it was eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes? Eight minutes. That's what I thought. Eight could, minutes, you're not going to get off this set. I could go on all day about that, by the way. Okay. I'm going to have to roll you into bed after eight minutes. Like we're going into, all day. We're like, into the back of an ambulance. Good Lord. <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. On, There's three. Look at the floor. Look at the roof. What's on the roof? I don't know. Maybe they got arrows hanging from the roof. They should at this point because these mm -hmm. people, they don't know what they're looking at. I'm probably going more over time now, but. No, no, no. I think actually you might be onto something because we got to wait for you to get your sips in here. Okay, that's four. Because Okay. Because, you know, you, 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 you got to come up with a product idea here with giant arrows hanging off a ceiling. I kind of like the idea of this. Um, and while you're getting that done, I'm going to take a look at the uh, the official sheet here. I'm all set of beer. I can get two more sips out of it. I, I don't. I don't think that's going to be much of a problem around here, to be honest with you. No, I got lots of beer, bud. Yeah, you usually do. Okay, so next topic is country music, bud. How do you feel about country music? I love country music. My song at my wedding was from Florida Georgia Line. No, pardon me, it was from Brett Eldridge. Florida Georgia Line was the second up. My wife is over here, and I almost didn't get to go home. The only freaking cool thing about Brett Eldridge is his name is Brett. That's about it. Have you listened to Brett Eldridge? I've listened to country music. I've tried, and honestly, it freaking sucks. No, no, that's not the question I asked. Oh, I got Have my you dog, listened? I got my truck, I got uh, my what? beer, I got my denim, I got what, what my hat, denim? I got my boots, I got what my dirt. What era I got are you talking about? That's how I feel about country. Every time I listen to it, it's the same thing. They got it all in the same the same song, same thing. Have same. you, have you li wait, have you listened to country music past Alan Jackson? I don't even know who that is. Oh, for Christ. It's the guy I think you were just quoting. <laughs> well, see, have you I listened like to any of the current stuff? Have you listened to Brett Eldridge? I don't know who that is. Okay, well, we're going to have to educate you. But I'm sure I've heard him show. because, you know what, I've, have you listened to Billy Ray Cyrus? Of course. I have once or twice and he friggin', you know, I didn't care for it, to be honest with you. Country music is like terrible. It's terrible. Oh, I think we're over time. I'm not, you know what? Country music's so bad, I'm not even going to keep talking about it because I don't want any more sips for that. You're wrong. I'm not drinking for country music. The only time I drink is when I have to listen to country music because I, I need to get something going here. You're still wrong. I'll take you to a Florida Georgia Line concert. You'll have fun. Ugh. Florida's not in the country. Not, not, the, oh, for God's sake. <laughs> How, how Where do we far go for that? Go are you still counting? I gotta get three sips in, but I don't have another beer. But hey, I promise I'll get those sips uh, in. But hey, 
Hold on a sec here, Reed. Okay, so that's the end of the five-minute major, guys. Sorry, I know it's longer than five minutes, but it, we try our best here. Yeah, so. we got two five and a ten we're for battling, instigating, too. We're, ba <laughs> we're battling Good wild Lord. animals here. We got a we got a freaking zoo running around, bud. And I'm no Dr. Doolittle. I can't control it. My wife's getting frustrated. She's trying to control it. Your wife's getting frustrated. She can't control it. It's well, just She's not trying to control the zoo. She's trying to control us, and it's not going well. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on. There's so not. No. It's hard to come up with stuff to talk about. It's hard to come up with things to do. You know, we're both very, you know, important staples, I, I think, in, in Ontario independent wrestling. I'd like to think so. And you know what? Unfortunately, wrestling shows just haven't been happening. No, no. But there was one show that I had an opportunity to attend. Oh! And I was able to get some great footage for it, bud. So I think we're going to roll that now because I was over at NSW. In Hamilton. Hey, our good buddy Steve Brown. Steve Brown. Hey. Except for when he awesome bombed me through a table. I didn't care for that too much. Oh, he was defending his title. Yeah, fair enough. Mm. But anyways, he also runs a wrestling promotion sometimes. And, you know, I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm still the freaking heavyweight champ there. But anyways, that's a topic for a different day. We'll get to that. But I did check out the last show, NSW, you know, the eye pay-per-view. Next level there, bud. So here, we're going to roll the footage from that, pal. Okay, so we're here at NSW, and I'm going to get some uh, very important interviews with some of the big stars of this promotion, and yeah, it's going to be a good time, bud. Yeah, you hear that, eh? See how friggin' over I am? That's so bright. What? Steven? What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, what's up, bud? No. Hey, Omar, can I get two seconds with you, please, bud? Like, I've been trying to get a hold of you a long time. Just Sorry. go away. Why? Just, you're so annoying. Just Mark, go. Right, fine. Walk away, man. Whatever, bud. Oh, hey, Brad Myers. Hey, buddy, here you go. Ball here, take this. Is this a real microphone? It's my very professional microphones, bud. You know, Are these lapel mics? We're nothing but high tech here, thanks to High Spots Wrestling Network. Bud. Am I supposed to look at you or into the camera? Uh, you can look wherever you want. I'm looking through the screen of the phone at the camera at you, so. Uh, if I look into the camera, does it look like I'm looking at you? It looks like you're looking directly at me, actually. That's cool. That's weird. I don't it's like pretty it. nice. Hey, I got a question for you, bud. Okay. You're, you know, you wear the stripes. You're an official. Yeah. You know, what are your thoughts on Kerry Fraser? Fuck Kerry Fraser. That's what I'm saying. He cost bro. us the cup in '93. Yeah, freaking. That's a high bud. stick. Yep. Poor Dougie, bud. Poor Dougie, bud. That's what I'm talking about, bud. It's great talking to you, Brad. That's it. That's it, bud. All right. <laughs> Can you cut this? Eric, off? where'd you get that dress, bud? Uh, there's like a Value Village. Speaking to them, I uh, Maybe a Goodwill. Goodwill. Yep. Yeah, fourteen dollars. It looks great, man. Thank you. I think someone's uh, big day. They were pretty happy to wear that. Uh, I think so. It's probably more expensive. <laughs> Holy Steve Brown, here you go, bud. The promoter at NSW. How you doing, big guy? Here, take okay. that. That's my professional oh. mic. Hey. I know it's this. nothing like the Joe Rogan experience, bud, but how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. You're doing good? Yeah, yeah. How's the show going? Pretty good. Is this on uh, highspots.com? Yeah, this will be on highspots.com, so you can add it to your resume now. Awesome. Is this what, uh, what's uh, Kingston always say? Best 9.99 in the business? The best 99 in the business, brother. Nice. Yeah, you know what, pal. How you, so, uh, hey, I got a question for you. Yeah. Yeah, what's, uh, what's your favorite Timmy's order, bud? Oh shit! Uh, hot chocolate, yeah, and a uh, chocolate dip donut. Look at that, Polly. The questions that matter. Thanks for talking to me, big guy. All right. <laughs> Mark Wheeler, I know you're a little busy, bud. Like, can I get like two seconds? I here, swear man? to God, I'm AMD, trying... go away, man. Man, I'm trying to. Can I just two seconds? Your stupid okay. show. No one cares. Oh, no, 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 leave. That's not true at all. No, no, just go. You, this is good exposure no, 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 no. for you. Okay, fine. Holy crap! Look at that. Hey, Forte. Hey. How you doing, buddy? It's good to see you. How's it going? Going all right, man. How have you been? Uh, you know, I've been pretty good. Hey, I think the last time we uh, ran into each other, it was the hockey arena, no? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? You're not supposed to be on that machine. I'm giving you a fire. Get out. You hopped on the machine, untrained, and you were drinking. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought we were allowed, to be honest. I didn't know that was a problem. Did you get fired? Luckily, no. Oh, that's good, Thank right? Thank you for asking. No, no, that's good, man. Okay, uh, yeah, that's great. Okay, thanks, Mike. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, too. Yeah, yeah, you have a good one. Kip. Bud, how you doing? It's, uh, well, uh, okay. Is this one of those colonoscopy cameras? Uh, you could be a... Oh. All right, Kip. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, it's good. not. You can tell the good. difference. Good. It's not. Uh, what have you been up to, Kip? Just relaxing. Not a whole lot, eh? Uh, the, uh, the Corona era seemed to age me a little. No, yeah, um... It my seems back like sore all the time. Just yeah. tired. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, I don't go anywhere. I'm just 
till today, apparently. Oh, that's a nice haircut there, actually. I just noticed that when you turned around. Can I, uh, what is that? Oh. Well, Kip, uh, real even there on the back. It's nice. Whoever did that, did. Oh, you're all tangled up now. Where? On the mic. Uh, yeah, here. There you go. Yeah, you spin the other way. We get another shot of the hair. Kip. Yeah. That's better. Oh, Kip, there you go. Right, that's better. You go. So how you been? I, you know what? I've been all right, Kip. Uh, Do I look here or are you behind you? I don't know if you know or not. I don't, yeah, you can um, here, Yeah, you, you can look. You know, you, there's fine. Did you notice that I left the uh, the empties outside for you? I've been leaving them out there just to, just to help you out there. I don't know if they, you've been taking them or... Uh, I've noticed you in the bushes a couple times, so... You do live far, so I don't come by that often. That often? You got a nice house. All right, Kip. It's great to talk to you, but uh, you get you have a good night. You can probably just keep See that ya. mic. Thanks, yeah, bud. Yeah, here I'll let you keep that one, bud. You have Sorry. a good night, eh? Hey, Mark. I just, I just had a few questions for you. I know we're trying to be quiet here, dude. Dude, no, what's up, man? Keep me up. Just stop. Yeah, I'm trying to. I just need to go find somebody else. Why? I don't care. Yeah, but no, 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 go away. Oh, fine, fine. Holy moly! I recognize this guy. Hey, hey bud. How you doing? What's up, man? So How's you're going? not. Hey, you're not. Uh, you used to be safe. No, man. What are you now? I'm the day tripper, man. Day tripper, bud. So you're a big fan of bud. Yeah, man. Hey, yeah, yeah, what's going on? You got your partner back there, too? Yeah, I'm here. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's, what's your guys' tag name? Uh, the Gnarly Boys. Yeah. Gnarly Boys. Yo, I take that. Okay, so you like bud. Uh, what's your favorite order from Tim Hortons? Favorite order from Tim Hortons. I'm a big Boston Cream guy. Uh, Yo, I love cream. black iced coffee, but like food wise, they got this new crispy chicken sandwich. Amazing. Listen to these guys, eh? Yeah. There's all the hot tips for you. Take it from the buds that like buds, eh? Yeah. Cheers, guys. All right, easy, bud. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good, good, BMD. How are you? I'm doing all right, man. I see you got some nice uh, little handprints here on you. Uh, so you yeah. got some on your back, too? Yeah, yeah, on the back. Look at that. Real nice, eh? Also, what's, what are these, pal? Uh, well, uh, it's just uh, their comfortable underwear. Pretty Ricky's face happens to be on it. Well, it was it was a coincidence, really. It was a really uh, interesting match, bud. I saw you uh, yeah. You were wearing a dress to start. And, then... uh -huh. and I look way better than you in a dress, by the way. Look at these guys. So pretty. <laughs> no, you're not wearing it anymore. No, I'm not wearing it. No, I lost the match. Thank you for pointing that out, BMD. Uh, yep. Evening gown match. Had to get that dress ripped off me. Uh, I blame the referee, actually. You know what, bud? Anytime. You know, I'm just really glad to be able to make sure I get good footage of you just sitting here in your underwear and, you know, nice all marked up. And, uh, yeah. Hey. You had a good match, bud. Hey, thanks, Hey, what's up? What's up? That's, yeah, that's a beer. I know it's well, not Molson. But it's Miller. All right, well, this interview's over, pal. You have a good night, eh? All right, yeah, all right. See you later. thank you. you yep, too. have a good one. Holy, bud. I know this guy. Hey, how you doing? Here, take the mic, hey, bud. Man. You're really tall, eh? Is this thing just really small, or is it my hand? No, I think it's just your hand, bud. So yeah. you're really tall like a tree, which uh, trees are mostly full of juice. So are you full of juice, or? Tree juice. I was Tree juice, bud. Sorry. Okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> Hey Mark, so you can just host a tag title, so I kind of want to just get I swear to God, BMD. What? What's up? I'm going to kill you. I understand you just lost, but like, you no, know. I'm going to kill you. Can you talk about it for one sec? You have three seconds, start punching in the face. One. Okay. Hold well, on, I have one question. Two. Okay, Mark, so you, you've been working out a lot during the pandemic, and I noticed you've gotten super jacked. Um, is that because you're trying to overcompensate for something? No, no. You heard it here first, guys. Alrighty, just having a good time. Whoa! Clee! Bud, here, no, no, what's the matter? Here, take the mic, here. How you doing? Bud. Bud, Bud come on, man. Like, what's wrong? Like, what, what, like, man, you start to show off, you, you, like, you start, <laughs> you, you you come back, you take a big break, you, you, for, you forget about my, you forget about me, I'm your neighbor, come on, man. What are you talking about, man? I didn't forget brother, about you. Brother, Bud. I'm your neighbor, look, I live, I leave... God. I leave all the beer, the complimentary beer from my fridge to your front door. You don't give what? me a thanks. You don't give me a holler. You don't say a, you don't say a hoot. That was you? That was me, man. Come Are on. you kidding? But but oh, I but feel I, so bad. But I I'm, I'm just like I'm really disgruntled. I'm 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 upset, bud. But I'm, you, I'm upset. I know you told some good jokes before, and I'm really sorry, Clay. I honestly I didn't know you did it. Listen, hey, you know what? Here, we'll give a shot here. If you can if you can give me one of those jokes again, bud, make me laugh, and I'll tell you what, I'll have you back on the show next next show. You're on, bud. I'm telling yeah? you. Yeah, 100%. I for, promise. For sure? I promise. Okay, I got one for you. Okay, okay, okay I'm okay. ready. Okay, all right. What kind of shoes do bears wear? I don't know. Well, they don't wear shoes because they have bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, yeah. Okay. You like that, eh? Yeah, I like I'm that. I'm on I the like show it. now? Yeah, you're on the show. Oh, okay. Up top, yeah, bud. Oh, you're Free beers bud. for you. Free beers for everybody hey. back at home, okay? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's talk, bud. Hey, thanks, Clay. All right, high spots. I see that's uh, it's a. I did pretty well here. Eh? I'm a pretty good interviewer. I'm like a wrestling's nardwar, pal. But anyways, we got to talk to some of the big stars here, and 
Now we're gonna kick it back to Reed and myself over here. Let's talk about it. And look at this, bud. We got some nice beauty snow out here too. Hey, look at the snowflakes happening. Cheers, bud. Wow, that uh, that was something. Uh, when you interviewed, you know, the guy with the belt, I, that was great. He he was good, or she was good. I can't. Uh, depends which one you were talking about, but they were. It was a really good. Uh, that was a great segment. Absolutely great. Look, I think fantastic. Uh, my interview skills are on par with other really good interviewers dan, like dan rather yeah there we go 60 minutes that's uh okay let's be honest here I, i'm gonna tell you guys we didn't that we don't know what happened i'm recording that tomorrow we're recording this the day before it's just the way time it worked out breaking the fourth wall of I, television i here. know but I, I see okay i couldn't keep it going but either way i hope it was great All right, so here's my favorite segment, bud. We're chugging a beer. We don't need the script for that. I wrote it on there, but it's not like we need it. Did you, th did you throw it? I threw it, pal. I don't oh. give a frig anymore, pal. We're at the end of this episode. This is a long one, guys. And David Ayer's birthday is going to be a national holiday. Okay, that's it. All right, I've okay. enough, Reed. Okay, so pretty simple. We're chugging a beer, bud. So, reader, here's to another episode. Thank you, High Spots Wrestling Network, for sponsoring us. We really appreciate it, pal. Really good on you guys, man. You guys are the best. Happy to have you guys aboard here. If you ever need a voice for fan cams. There you go. Cheers, bud. Chug a beer. Cheers. I could never do it. <coughs> Honestly, I pulled this right out of the Molson Canadian cooler, and it's got to nope. be the coldest cooler I've ever tasted in my life. Still can't. Still can't. That beer's and way too cold. My I can't feel my teeth. Well, I got scared. He barked and he jumped me once before on this show while we were doing chug a beer. Uh, he did. Oh, man. Anyways. Unbelievable. Most of Canadian coldest coolers out there. Best beer. If you guys want a, you know, a piece of this little episode here, just uh, let us know. But anyways, wow, that's so cold. Hey, we did another one, bud. It's great to be back. It's great to be back it's again, It's always great pal. to be with you, Hey, pal. thanks, High Spots. Thanks for busting. Hey, it's always great to be with you, man. Cheers, guys. Hey, hope you guys enjoyed. Elliot says bye, too, eh? Well, Matt, what? I know what it's like. Look out. This is just absolutely When I hear the name Funk, I think of excellent. It's a high risk! Four days ago, I was at the Tokyo Dome. Ah, do you come? Uh, my name's Matthew Riddle, and I'm a professional wrestler. Oh! Kind of branch 